Welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. Today, we're gonna to show you how to take a vintage car like this and turn the gas cap into a charge port. For this video sponsor, we've got VTOMAN. This is a combination jump starter and air compressor. Look at that, that is a nice bag. And look at all the goodies. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yes, this goes here. Some people might buy this for say a spouse or a child. So if I can do it without reading the instructions, I'm sure they can too. There we go. So this one even comes with air compressor accessories for like a bicycle or maybe a ball. And this is battery operated. So you do not need to worry about turning this off. It has an auto detect function that will automatically turn it off when not in use. As far as the battery bank, it takes about six to seven hours to charge from empty to full. If you're wondering about how long this battery can last, it will charge a typical smartphone about 15 times. It can also jumpstart a car about 70 times. All right, so this one actually comes with a flashlight. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a decent flashlight. So this gives you some presets for things like a bicycle, a ball, or a car. So again, this may depend a little differently on type, what type of car you have, what type of bike, things like that. But again, if your daughter, wife, somebody that's not very familiar with this sort of thing, this would be very good so they can just go select it and they'll be pretty close to what they need. All right, a couple other cool features for the light button. Not only do you have a light, but if you want to, to do some other things, like maybe you're in a hazardous situation, it can flash red or longer flash red. Again, very cool features. So let's go try it out. Long pressing this, we'll switch you to KPA, bar, or back to PSI. All right, so this one says it's uh, supposed to be 35 PSI, so we're gonna go ahead and put the minus, just changes it by that one PSI. We'll go ahead and give it a start. So it gives you the current tire pressure, so it's currently at 25, it needs to go to 35. We'll just push start. Just like that, turns off by itself. So in order to jumpstart your car, it's got this attachment. And let's say uh, you're not sure which terminals these go on. So if I put this one on here, this one on here. So right there, it says reverse. That means you've got them on the wrong terminals. So again, very helpful. So we'll go ahead and switch those around. And right there, you've got correct terminals. And when you're ready to jump it, just turn the key. <laughs> This is a really cool product and it's great for an emergency in all cases for your car. So if you wanna give one for a gift or just have one in all your cars, I'll leave a link in the description below. While filming that last part, uh, the wind knocked my camera over. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Yeah, there's some damage, let me show you. So the camera itself, um, I think fared okay. However, this is the plug that I usually use um, a wireless microphone setup. And this plug was in the camera and it uh, got hammered. So again, I thought, okay, if that's all that's bad, if that's all that's wrong, we're okay. However, uh, the audio jack for the camera now is broken. So meaning I switched cords to a couple different things. I tried a different microphone. So this one is out of commission. I spent the first two or three years doing all my things on a phone. So uh, I will be back to doing things on a phone. I will see if somehow I can get the wireless setup working with the phone. But yeah, I just don't have, I don't have the money to replace that. So you guys will just have to bear with me. Converting classics like this is becoming more and more popular. And one of the reasons why is this is a classic and people just love the lines, love the look. One of the things you don't wanna do is you don't wanna ruin it with some of the new features that you have to have. So you really don't wanna break up all these gorgeous lines with something like a charging port. Where do you put something like this that still keeps the overall look and aesthetic? Well, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you what I did. Look at what I got. This is kind of a vintage gas cap. I think this is from a, an Aston Martin. Anyway, the thought is that you unclip it and it opens up. So we are going to put it right there. There's a little bit of a challenge, so we've got to somehow adapt this to the J1772. So we gotta get to work. So this is the J1772, and it's very similar where you put this, you clip this, and uh, you get access to the charging port. So we're gonna get rid of this cap and essentially put this cap on, and we're gonna have to do some shaving and finagling, but uh, it's all gonna look great in the end. The other thing I need to do is this opening here is just about big enough, but there's a lip that makes it kind of even smaller. So I need to open this up so it can accept the J1772 plug. All 
All right, I was able to clean the surface up a little bit. Got just a little bit of chatter right in the middle. Maybe I'll do a little bit more, but uh, it's looking pretty good. We're here just at the back of the car, the larger orange cable there that is coming from the charge port. And so it's got kind of three larger wires for a little more current and then the two smaller ones for communication. And right now I'm just splicing the larger wires uh, to go to the front to the charger. So the original charging cable on this end came with 10 gauge wire and the charger up front only accepts 14 gauge. That's as big as it goes. So we're just gonna run 14 gauge wire and that also matches with the amperage that the charger needs. So we'll go ahead and splice and get those wires run. This is where the original gas cap was, and we're gonna try and put this in the same relative position, but the cap that we have is actually just a little bit bigger, as well as the plug that needs to go through there. So we are going to have to cut it out. So I've kind of described a line there, and we're gonna just get it a little bit larger. This plate kind of attaches to the plug. This one will fasten to the car and then they fasten to each other. So that's what's going to keep the plug in place. This is a 3D printed part that will allow the gas cap to fit on there. All right, I'm gonna make a custom seal or custom gasket just with some rubber and trace this out and see if we can cut it out. All right, I think we're ready to take off the tape. I was able to get a piece of rubber that was kind of sized for this and we're gonna see if we can make it work for this application. I've just got some silicone sealant that should bond this together. Um, I also have a plan B if this doesn't work. All right, we've got uh, this all sealed in place. We've got like a good amount of squish that it can give. So we'll go ahead and install it and see what it looks like. One more thing before we end, we're just gonna check that it operates and does everything as intended. I think that looks great. Thanks everyone for tuning in. That'll do it for this time. See you next time. Converting, cl converting cars, um, so that does beg the question, why are you not focusing on me? Focus on me.